Hey guys, happy Sunday. Thanks for stopping by the Cigar Vixen channel. I'm Delicia here with the top five lineup for your week of smoking. All of these cigars you will most definitely find in any humidor. They have uh, been around for a while, so none of them are brand new. Did that on purpose, trying to find some that hopefully you guys can find easily for your week of smoking. Starting with number five, we have the beautiful Perdomo Habano Connecticut featuring a Connecticut shade wrapper, Cuban seed, Nicaraguan binder, a Nicaraguan filler, nice medium full profile with a nice cedar earthy leather, a little bit of sweet spice on that one as well. So very nice overall profile. Hmm. Moving along to number four, we have the Cornelius and Anthony Meridian, Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan and Dominican on the filler. Somewhat mild to medium, nice barnyard earthy profile with a little bit of a light citrus and a woodsy background. So again, very nice for the Cornelius and Anthony. Moving on to number three, we have the La Paulina Mr. Sam Lancero. Yeah, Team Lancero. So Ecuadorian Habano wrapper on that one, Nicaraguan binder and filler. You're gonna pick up notes of coffee, white pepper. It's a little nutty with dried fruit, red pepper, and a cedar background. So very nice on that Lancero especially. Moving along to number two, we have the uh, 1502 XO. This one is a fantastic cigar, undisclosed blend, but we know it's Nicaraguan tobacco made at Placencia Cigar Factory. Beautiful notes of sweet chocolate, vanilla, black cherry. The smoke itself is extremely creamy. It's a wonderful cigar. It was, it was my number one cigar a few years back, um, but again, just a beautiful profile on that 1502 XO, meaning extra aged. Mm. And bringing me to my number one cigar this week, we have this wonderful McAuliffe Reserva. This is again, a nice treat for anyone. You can jump onto their website now on McAuliffeCigars.com and you can locate where they have uh, their cigars near you. So a nice feature, I've mentioned that before. There's a couple of websites out there that I found very useful when they have that information because that's probably one of the top questions that I get from all of you watching is, you know, where can I find these cigars? So if there's a manufacturer that has a website that's watching, make sure you add that information. It's super helpful to the consumers that are trying to find your cigars. Um, just that little feature of, hey, locate, you know, the cigars near you kind of a thing. So you can definitely jump on their website and find any of the McAuliffe cigars wherever you're at, which is great. Um, back to the cigar itself. This one's featuring a nice Super aged San Andres Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, Honduran and Dominican and Peruvian on the filler. You're getting nice, rich, warm leather notes on this one. Mm. Aged cedar, anise, a little bit of like a fresh fruit, kind of an apricot little background in there. Um, very nice overall profile. Again, very rich flavors. The tobacco in this cigar has been aged for a minimum of eight years. And then once it's all blended, it's left to rest and age for uh, even more for an extra year before you actually smoke it. So really nice. Again, a lot of um, wonderful tobacco in it and just a good balanced, um, harmonious cigar. So definitely one, if you've never smoked it, I highly encourage you to do so. And again, you can jump onto their website and locate a cigar near you, which is great. And all of the cigars mentioned this week, again, should be available in most of your brick and mortar. So hopefully you guys have a chance to smoke them all, post your pictures on Instagram, be sure to tag me. And as always, I thank you all so much for spending a little bit of your Sunday with me. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Cheers.